Hello, everybody. My name is Teacher Leka, and I'm here today to start a new content to help you through your Portuguese journey. I am bringing you a text that I'm going to be doing a guided reading on it, and I hope it's going to help you with your reading and your listening skills. So let's start. First, I'm going to be reading this text here in a normal speed twice so you can hear the reading for the first text in the white board here, the white, white screen. And then I'm going to start reading slowly and making some comments on this reading and also translate it for you all. Okay, so let's start. And this level, it's for beginners, ok? Bate-papo. E aí, tudo bem? Meu nome é Joana e eu sou estudante. Eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. O meu irmão mais velho já está na faculdade e está cursando medicina. Ele é muito inteligente e estudioso. One more time. E aí, tudo bem? Meu nome é Joana e sou estudante. Eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. O meu irmão mais velho já está na faculdade e está cursando medicina. Ele é muito inteligente e estudioso. Ok, guys. So now I'm gonna read and translate for you and make a couple notes, ok? So pay attention. E aí? E aí is an informal, very informal way to say hello or what's up? What's up? What's up? You know when you say in English, what's up? So this is our what's up? E aí? Okay? That's very, very informal. So just use with your friends when you're greeting someone. Then tudo bem. Tudo bem. Tudo bem is how are you? How are you? Tudo bem? How are you? Meu nome é Joana e sou estudante. My name is, verbo to be here, is. Meu nome é Joana. This is not a transitional phase. One day her name is Joana, the next is Maria. Her name is always Joana. So that's why you're using the verb to be ser, conjugated. Not the verb to be estar. Meu nome está Joana. No, because it's not at the moment. That's your name. This is a definition. So we use the verb to be here to say I'm Joana. So you conjugate é. Meu nome é Joana. E so. And I am. She's telling you what she does. So when someone tells you what they do for a profession, you use ser as well. E sou estudante. I am a student. Sou estudante. Eu gosto de praticar esportes. The verb like in Portuguese takes the preposition de. Ok? So, eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. Let's go step by step. Eu gosto de I like. I like. Eu gosto de the translation for I like. Ok? And the verb gosto, gostar, there is the preposition de. Eu gosto de I like practicing sports. Eu gosto de praticar esportes. Praticar esportes. Next one. Ler. Eu gosto de ler. Ler. So, my R in Brazil is similar to the American R. So, I tend to, to say like er, ler. But, you know, there's many different accents in Brazil. One of them is the Carioca accent, very famous with you guys that are foreigners. So, like, ler, ler. There's this eh sound. Um, and there's also the Paulista sound. Ler. Ler. Okay. 
so my R is more from the countryside R's and it's similar to the American R. So I think if you're just learning Portuguese, it's easier for you to make this transition first when you're first learning to memorize using your R. And later on, you can practice only the accents that you like most, okay? But let's focus here in the pronunciation, not in the accents. So this is ler, read. Cozinhar, to cook, cozinhar. Assistir Netflix. There's also a thing that we do in Portuguese called the reduction vowel sound. We can skip this R here. You can just not say the R's when they are in the verbs at the end. So I could say, eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix. See, I didn't say the R for those verbs here. So you can do that. You cannot skip the R here because this is the noun and is in the middle of the word. You can just do that at the end of the words, okay? So, eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. So, I like to practice sports, read, cook, watch Netflix and play with my possessive, my younger brothers. Younger brothers, irmãos. See, younger, that you guys add the R. For us, we use the mais. Plus, né? The translation for mais is plus or add. Novos, young. Irmãos in the plural. O meu irmão mais velho, my oldest brother. So, oldest would be mais velho. Brother, irmão. Já está na faculdade. It is already, this is already, at the university. The location he's at, or whatever he's doing right now, he's at the university. And he is, he is studying medicine. At this moment, he is studying medicine. Okay? Ele é muito inteligente. E estudioso. He is very smart and studious. So let's read once again this text. Oh, by the way, inteligente. Well, using the reduction vowel sound, you could say inteligente. Okay, just at the end of the words when they end with T and E. Or you can also pronounce inteligente. Okay? But... A lot of parts in Brazil tend to put this ch at the end. Let's read again, slower. E aí, tudo bem? Meu nome é Joana e eu sou estudante. Eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. O meu irmão mais velho já está na faculdade e está cursando medicina. Ele é muito inteligente e estudioso. Let's translate the whole thing together again. What's up? How are you? My name is Joana and I'm a student. I like to practice sports, read, cook, watch Netflix, and play with my younger brothers. The oldest brother is already at university, or you can say college, and he is studying medicine. He is very smart and studious. Okay? And now that we have worked through this text, I'm going to read it the last time in a normal Brazilian speed. Okay? Pay attention. E aí, tudo bem? Meu nome é Joana e eu sou estudante. Eu gosto de praticar esportes, ler, cozinhar, assistir Netflix e brincar com meus irmãos mais novos. O meu irmão mais velho já está na faculdade e está cursando medicina. Ele é muito inteligente e estudioso. Beleza, pessoal? Vamos para a próxima leitura que eu trouxe para vocês hoje. Ok, guys? Let's go to the next reading I brought here for you today. So, let's go. 
conversa de telefone. This is a phone talk, okay? So I'm gonna order some food. The first one is just a chit chat, um, a chat. <laughs> And now we're gonna read a phone conversation. Let's take a look here. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I wrote this <laughs> wrongly. It's not bom noite, okay? It's boa noite, boa noite. Um, so let me write here for you. My spelling mistake, sorry. Yes, boa noite. Okay, guys, so this is the correct form, okay? So noite is a feminine word. That's why we say boa, boa noite. And actually, in this case, it's also an expression. So you have to say boa noite, okay? Boa noite, como vai? Gostaria de fazer um pedido de delivery. Ok, perfeito. Posso falar? Eu quero uma pizza meia meia. Meia peperoni, meia quatro queijos. Vou pagar em dinheiro e preciso de troco para cem reais. Obrigada. Ok, guys, I will read one more time in the correct way. Boa noite, como vai? Gostaria de fazer um pedido de delivery? Ok, perfeito. Posso falar? Eu quero uma pizza meia meia, meia peperoni, meia quatro queijos. Vou pagar em dinheiro e preciso de troco para cem reais. Obrigada. Ok, let's start translating and making some notes. As I said, noite is um, a feminine word, so boa noite, and also is expression in Portuguese, so you have to say good evening, boa noite, okay? Como vai? Como vai? It's another translation for how are you, but more formal than tudo bem, way more formal in, in a formal setting. Como vai? Gostaria de fazer um pedido de delivery. Gostaria de fazer. I would like to do. Gostaria. Gostaria. I would like. So you add this ia. Gostaria de fazer. To do. Um pedido de delivery. And delivery order. Pedido is order. And delivery, delivery. Ok, ok. We say ok in Portuguese, guys. So if you... Tell us, okay, we will understand you perfectly. Perfeito means perfect, okay? Posso falar? Well, in Brazil, we tend to be very informal in many situations, and one of those in a conversation on the phone, if you're ordering some food, you definitely can say, like, if the, um, the person on the line is making some notes, or she just said, give me your address or anything like that, and you gave them, you can just say, Can I talk? But it's not being aggressive or anything. If you translate in Portuguese, it would be more like, may I speak? And this meaning, like, can I say my order? This two words here would be like, can I tell you, can I tell you what I, what I want to ask? Can I tell you what's my pizza flavor? That's actually what you're saying when you're asking, may I speak? Like, it's not may I speak with you, miss. It's like, can I say my order now? That's what you are saying with these two words here. So, posso falar. And the literal translation would be, may I speak? But you don't have I here. You don't have the pronoun eu. Eu posso falar. You can say direct in this case. Posso falar. So, there we go. I want a Half and half pizza. So you have half flavors in Brazil. I don't remember if that happens abroad. I, I think it does, but I don't remember. Um, so you're just ordering a pizza that is half flavor. Something, half other flavor. Meia, meia. Meia, meia. It doesn't mean socks, socks, okay? It's just meia, meia, half and half. Meia pepperoni, half pepperoni. And half four cheese. Meia, quatro queijos. Quatro. The pronunciation here. Quatro. Quatro. This, I know sometimes you have some difficulties making this R. Quatro. Tro. Rolling your tongue. Tro. So you can go to the American R. Quatro. Quatro. It's like throw the ball. Through. You can do this R, quattro, quattro, 
okay? Quejos. Here we can skip the I and just pronounce E. Quejos. Quejos. Vou pagar. Vou pagar. I will pay in cash. This is a curious fact for you. So, in Portuguese, cash uh, means the bills. Like, you're paying with bills. Like, $5 bills, $10 bills. So, when you want to say, I'm going to pay with money, uh, you just say... Dinheiro. Eu vou pagar em dinheiro. That means bills, ok? Eu vou pagar em dinheiro. If you are paying with a credit card or something, we'd say vou pagar com cartão. With a card. Com cartão. Ok? So, let me write here for you. So, if you're paying with card, you would only say com cartão. Ok, guys? But here you're paying with bills. So, vou pagar em dinheiro. That's the preposition you use for the sentence, em. You can say also, vou pagar com dinheiro. But in this case, vou pagar em dinheiro. Okay? E preciso de troco para 100 reais. And I need change for 100 reais. Troco. Same thing about the R here. Troco. Troco. Okay, if you can do the troco just yet. Obrigada. Curious fact about obrigada is not about who you're talking to. For example, if you're a guy and you're talking to a woman, because she's a woman, you think, oh, she's a woman, so I have to say obrigada. Actually, no. It, obrigada and obrigado is defined by the person who is talking. So if you give me something, I'm a woman, so I tell you obrigada. If I give you something and you are a man, you say obrigado. It's about the person who speaks, okay? It's not about the person who you're speaking to. Well, guys, um, this is the guided reading I brought for you here today. I'm going to read twice again the last text so you can see the normal speed of a Brazilian conversation. Don't forget to get this text printed out or copy and paste I'm going to leave the link here for this file and you can study through it, okay? So you keep pronouncing at home to practice rolling the R's, practicing the R's at the end, and that's about it. And practicing conversations on the phone, especially because I know when you come to Brazil, we're going to order some deliveries. You might not use iFood. You might just call the place. So just be good at it, okay? And let's read again before we end the video today. Boa noite. Como vai? Gostaria de fazer um pedido de delivery. Ok, perfeito. Posso falar? Eu quero uma pizza meia-meia. Meia peperoni e meia quatro queijos. Vou pagar em dinheiro e preciso de troco para cem reais. Obrigada. And the last time? Boa noite. Como vai? Gostaria de fazer um pedido de delivery. Ok, perfeito. Posso falar? Eu quero uma pizza meia-meia. Meia peperoni e meia quatro queijos. Vou pagar em dinheiro e preciso de troco para cem reais. Obrigada. So, guys, that's the content of today. I really, truly hope you enjoyed this content and you've learned something with me today. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're studying Portuguese. That helps me and the algorithm to bring this content for more people and help them through their Portuguese journey as well. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.